how exciting it would be to walk into that glorious middle earth to come across that master archer and say peace will on and he replies with an i which means i greet you in the elvish language and he says hail hey, come over so this today i have is J R R Tolkien's trilogy, The Lord of the Rings. So this comes under the genre of high fantasy. This is an epic, uh, an amazingly beautiful epic, which has everything in it: a compelling plot. It has adventure, romance, horror, every element, every ingredient. for those who love war and adventure there is war and adventure and there is quite kinship and friendship and ardent love immortal love so all these various factors are celebrated in this now this is an epic which has used the age old formula of good versus evil this is a formula that will work as long as humanity lives thrives and reads so i will not be giving out the story no spoilers but let us talk about j r r tolkien tolkien was at a very young age he started inventing languages which is something so interesting even at the age of 10 he began his interest in philology he has invented various languages various worlds and throughout this book we see his extraordinary excellence in philology archaeology religion medievalism medieval uh, and gothic literature so all these elements of language and literature come into being in his work so this uh, in uh, tolkien's uh, life we can see that uh, he had a group of friends they named themselves the inklings cs lewis was one of the inklings and between them they created magical worlds and they described themselves as people who loved to drink tea and write stories and they would be found in the various nooks and corners of uh, england in uh, various clubs writing discussing reading and into this gentleman's life came a horrible episode and that was the first world war in which he had to be enlisted he hated he was he despised war but he lost so many of his fellow inklings in the war and uh, when he came back he was uh, appointed a commander but he was always sad at the fact that so many lives had to be lost in the war and we could say that uh, mordor is very much the result of his life during the war and the shire the beautiful shire full of flowers named every child named after a flower this is his own childhood in england as he describes the landscape of his childhood so there are elements of his life in the story he met the love of his life at the age of 16 which is also very romantic and they lived together and had a very loving relationship as childhood sweethearts to the old age of 80 and when she died on her tomb he has inscribed luthien and on his own is written beren after the elf princess who gave up her mortality and said that i would rather have sweetness and bitterness and gave up her immortal life to live with a mortal man and these elements too you will find in his stories so his very important works one is the lord of the rings and also the hobbit uh, this has thrilled generations of people for me personally i felt that the first time i read it and every time i reread this book it is so difficult it is devastating to pull yourself out from this magical faraway land he has created the middle earth 
and all these adventures happen in this land and for some reason i feel that i know these lands as most readers will feel they are not lands which you cannot enter but rather lands that are on the edge of your memory so man karek what are you doing today why don't you go on an adventure of jrr tolkien's lord of the rings whether you are an arwen whose mental strength is her greatest uh, power or whether you are an eowyn who would write to war for both this will suffice because there is adventure for everyone and frodo if you take frodo i believe that everybody can identify with frodo because no matter which king or wizard gives you his allegiance at the end of the day you must carry your burden alone you must fight your war alone isn't that the fate of each and every one of us to fight our battles by ourselves but of course we would have love and friendship 